Welcome back, everybody. Got a cool one for you today, and we got a fun little uh, challenge for you after this, so uh, yeah, stick around for that, most definitely. But this is a brewery that hasn't been on the channel in a minute. In a minute. So let's just get into this because we're excited because the brewery is literally like a mile away. A mile away. Probably like a 10 minute, 15 minute drive from if that is where we are now. And it's an amazing brewery. It's a great place. Um, Crystal Lake Brewery. We've We're dropped doing, in only a couple times. Yep. Yeah. Uh, real hazy. It's got an awesome, awesome fishing lure graphic on it. But uh, real hazy pale ale. 5.7%. Uh, and uh, I don't remember what I paid for this. So we're just going to get that it's out. It's probably of the about nine ninety nine. Probably about. It's usually what Crystal Lake Brewery yeah. runs. Um, but yeah, I bought the beers today. Because yeah. uh, I saw it at Walmart and I'm like... Ah, oh, damn, time to check it out. Gotta check it out. Gotta check it out. Now, I could smell it from that opening. Yeah. I don't know if you're good. But there's definitely a, a citrusy smell to it. It's sprayed all over my glass. It's sprayed all over my glass as well. That means you know it's going to be good. Yeah, but there's you can definitely smell the like little citrus that they put in there. So as you know, hazy hazy IPAs are usually uh, a little more uh, citrusy. And oh, that's an awful pour. Awful pour. Got to get your stuff together tonight, Tyler. Jeez. Jeez. Anyway, let's talk about the color. Hazy. 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 Beautiful color. Beautiful though. color. It almost looks like pineapple juice. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know? But, um, yeah. That's a nice, good, uh, uh, what would you say? That's like a two and a half inch standing head on that thing. <laughs> that's a good three and a half. <laughs> Mine's about an inch, which is a good that's head. perfect. That's the perfect head right there. Uh, yours is about triple this time. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna fight through it though, cause I'm excited about this one. I wanna, I'm gonna let you fight through it. I'm yeah, gonna watch you. I'm do gonna this. fight through the foam somehow. Um, that's a, that's I can, a, that's I a can guarantee foam. if we went to Crystal Lake Brewery, they would not be giving you this much head. No, no, definitely not. They, they are brewmasters and uh, beer pouring masters. So, fight through it. Me likey, me likey. Me likey, okay. I'm going to put that out there right now. I'm not going to give you anything else. It's a big uh, citrus smell. Yeah. Uh, especially when bringing it up. I will say, little tip for fighting through the foam. Don't start drinking the foam. You got to let the liquid hit your lips, and then you start drinking. And then you open your mouth. Good yeah. point, good point. So uh, if you ever need to fight through the foam on a beer... That's how you do it. But I'm liking this one. I already got scores going through my head, and I'm not sure what to do with them. Okay. What I will say, not as hoppy as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's a nice smooth. It's yeah. like a subtle hop. Yeah. And because uh, I noticed CLB, they... I mean, it's good, but you can uh, taste the hops in there, usually in their brews. You can really taste them in their ales, um, but I'm liking this. It's very subtle hop taste, and um, very subtle citrus. It's a very subtle taste to it. Yeah, it's a, it's actually a real nice... Uh, it's very easy to drink. Yeah. I think it would be something that I... I don't know if I could. Uh, I, it's definitely something you would fish with. Oh yeah. Nice. It's a nice, easy drink. Just kind of like sit and watch yeah. it, drink it. Now, I did just notice on that sip, I get the hops. You get on the swallow. Oh, like at the back of my tongue. I was gonna disagree. I, I got them. Okay, yeah, at the back of the tongue. Yeah. 
Now, I, I'm going to say you get the hops right before you swallow. Yeah. It, like, hits your tongue. Yeah. Like, I, would, I would go not in your mid, in the mid phase, but in the mid to late phase, and then you hit the ending phase, mm. it, the hops disappear. So. Yeah. But, very good. I like that, um, I like that the hops don't, uh, don't, like, stick around. Yeah. Kind of. And, like, keep that bitter taste. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that if you let it sit in your mouth, you get that happy taste. You would get yeah, that Yeah, you get that taste. kind of bitter taste. But um, once you swallow it, like, that taste is gone. Yeah. You oh, know? yeah. And, uh, of course, nice citrusy smell. Um, little tiny citrus flavor. Not too much. You get a lot more of the citrus flavor at the end. Yeah. Right? After uh, the bitter or the hoppy taste, yeah, definitely. So, um, really great, really great. Uh, pick this out because I knew we weren't going to be disappointed. Yeah, we're never I disappointed. Mean, with never Crystal Lake. disappointed with Crystal Lake. I mean, their their brews are just so amazing. If you have the means to get one, I mean, by all means, just go grab them. And uh, if you live in the area and you haven't tried them, go try them. I mean, definitely. Definitely. What's stopping you? But, um, yeah, just great. Just great. Just great. Amazing. Uh, I wonder how far out Crystal Lake Brewery uh, goes out to. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, let us know if anyone's from Illinois, if he's, or a different part of Illinois. Or if you're even in a different state like, and you can get. Yeah. Tell us where you, where you're finding your Krisha Lake brewery. Yeah, definitely. But uh, that's gonna be it for me. I don't know, you know, like I wonder if it's made its way to different states. Yeah, I don't. Or if it's it. just like uh, New Glarus. Yeah. Where it's just kind of stuck in Wisconsin or Illinois. Yeah, right. but New Glarus is good. New Glarus is very that's good. good. We got to try that one. We, we got to try another one. For yeah, me. we got to get more New Glarus. We got to take a trip up to Wisconsin one day. But um, anyway, that's gonna be it. Or no, wait, we gotta do scores. We gotta do scores. We yeah. gotta do scores. I, th- what am I, doing? I, I was I was worried that you were skipping it. I almost skipped it. Uh, I apologize. What are you going? Rookie with move. It? Rookie <laughs> move. Um, I'm gonna throw it in an eight point two. An eight point two. Yeah. Okay, that's. I'm really enjoying score. this one. I can see myself enjoying a nice warm day mm-hmm. with this one. I see where you're coming from. I'm going to scale it back just a little bit, and I'm going to put it at a 7.6. Okay, okay. Uh, I think it's a very good beer. I definitely go back to it, but it's not... I don't know if it's something I'm going to uh, always go to. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one, for me, it's... um, Chris, I don't think has experienced this one with me yet, but the Bat Squatch. Yeah. I I think it's right under the Bat Squatch. It's... I did that one when we were in lockdown. In quarantine, which, yeah, good news, guys. Yeah, a lot of regular, the CDC up. said that you don't have to wear a mask if you're vaccinated. So, guys, if you're vaccinated, that's some good news. Hey, yeah. Yep, if you're but, vaccinated, uh, go outside and enjoy not wearing a mask. Exactly. Um, but I think it's a very good beer. It's something that I would definitely go to and I would tell people to try. Oh, oh yeah. But... It I think is. this. I think this too. Real quick before we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like if I was in the mood for an IPA, and I couldn't make a choice, like this one, just like I'm gonna be happy with this one. This one's gonna satisfy my need for an IPA. This is perfect. You know. And it's real nice if you were going on boating because it's in a can. And yeah, you just, we all know that, you know, when you go boating, and it's you got to go can bear because you can smash it, takes up less room. Yeah, right. Perfect. So anyway, now that's going to be it for me. That's it for me as well. That's guys. it for Chris. If you haven't noticed, we have our uh, scoreboard right here, uh, Hacker Shore Scoreboard. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Just an uh, amazing brewery that we love. Uh, currently, Chris is one up in the, uh, challenge. In the challenge department. Tyler's looking to tie I'm it tonight. Looking to tie it tonight. We'll see. Um, yeah. Okay. That's about it. That's about it, guys. Yeah. 
So, anyway, guys, we're going to see you real soon for the challenge. And remember to stay safe. Be safe. We'll see you soon.